Section 1, Program Background Partnerships A supportive and successful environment is created when partnerships are established between community groups, healthcare resources, and community facilities. Healthcare practitioners and persons with stroke living in northwestern Ontario identified the need for an ongoing stroke-specific community-based exercise program. Furthermore, persons with stroke reported they felt cut loose once they had finished their course of rehabilitation and returned to the community. As a result, physiotherapists associated with the Northwestern Ontario Regional Stroke Network at Thunder Bay Regional Health Sciences Centre have undertaken the design of a stroke-specific community-based exercise program. This project has been undertaken in partnership with City of Thunder Bay Recreation and Culture Division, the Thunder Bay Chapter of Stroke Recovery Canada, and St. Joseph's Care Group, the Regional Rehabilitation Hospital in Northwestern Ontario. Grants were received from the Ontario Ministry of Health Promotion, Communities in Action Fund, the Ontario Stroke System, and the Northwest Local Health Integration Network to develop, research, and produce this training program. Vision and Mission Statements Along with community partnerships, the vision and mission statements of the Ontario Stroke System and this initiative have helped to define the role of a fitness instructor training program. Vision – Fewer Strokes, Better Outcomes Mission – To continuously improve stroke prevention, care, recovery and community reintegration to deliver a training program which will provide support to people living with stroke through the provision of an appropriate community exercise class. Goal, to provide a safe and effective exercise program for people living with stroke. Objectives, one, to improve or maintain mobility. 2. Decrease risk of falls by improving balance and strength. 3. Provide opportunities for social support. 4. Provide opportunities for improving quality of life. 5. Promote activity and improve general fitness level. The overall goal of this exercise program is to enhance services and relationships already in place within the healthcare system and community. The exercise program has been created as an ongoing program and is not intended as a replacement for hospital-based rehabilitation programs. The program is designed to require minimal hands-on assistance to encourage independent ability and to reduce resources needed for supervision and safety. Competencies. In order to meet these objectives, a training program has been created for fitness instructors which focuses on the knowledge, skills and attitudes needed to deliver a safe and effective exercise program for people living with stroke. The use of competencies helps to focus not only on what you know, but also on what you know how to do. Competency Background. Competencies are the knowledge, skills and attitudes needed to effectively perform a role or function. The following six competencies represent the key components of facilitating a community-based exercise program and reflect the primary goal of delivering a safe and effective exercise program in the community. The six major competencies required to deliver a community-based exercise program for people living with stroke are Good Knowledge Base Safe Good communication skills, aware of own limitations, empathetic valuing, good practical skills. Degree of competence. You will be provided with a specific set of knowledge, skills and attitudes. Competency will be demonstrated by your ability to reproduce standard answers, skills and behaviors that are associated with well-defined problems linked specifically to the exercise program and participants living with stroke. Knowledge is focused on the delivery of the exercise program 
gaining a basic level of understanding of stroke and applying this knowledge specifically to participants living with stroke. Mastery of skills is determined based on evidence that fundamental elements of the standardized program are present and respected. The competencies required will assure the safe and effective delivery of the community-based exercise program for people living with stroke. Attitudes and behaviors about exercise and participants living with stroke will be presented throughout the training program. These qualities will be assessed throughout the program as well as through ongoing interaction with participants, facility and healthcare links. How to evaluate competencies. Competencies are evaluated through a self-evaluation component, the submission of two forms and through the evaluation of your ability to deliver an exercise class. Self-evaluation. Thought-provoking questions and self-tests are used throughout the training program to ensure a basic level of understanding. A competency checklist will be used at the start of the training program and again once you have completed all of the sections of the program to help you identify which components of the program you understand and which ones require more study and practice. Submission of forms. You will be required to submit a copy of your facility plan to ensure that details of program management and facility organization have been attended to. This will help you to ensure the safety of participants within your facility. A class plan must also be submitted to demonstrate your ability to organize the flow and details of a class. The class plan will provide an outline of the observation and evaluation of your trial exercise class. Exercise class trial. The evaluation of your ability to deliver the exercise program will be assessed through the observation of a trial exercise class. Your ability to deliver the class in a fun, safe and effective manner will be evaluated using the class assessment checklist. This checklist has a major focus on safety and effective delivery of the exercises. Once you have completed the trial exercise class, there will be opportunity for discussion to review and help determine which competencies require ongoing education or support. Throughout this training program, you will be given the opportunity to learn at your own pace and repeat knowledge sections and practical applications as needed. You have now completed Section 1 on Program Background. Now that you have completed this module, you should understand the program vision and mission the background and development of the exercise program, and the goals and objectives of the exercise program. Throughout Section 1, you should have completed two thought-provoking questions. If you have not completed these questions, please do so now. There are also two self-test questions to complete before moving on to the next section.